Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have shown you how to backend code for this add new book. Here you can see this. For this form, how to backend code, how to save this data into the database and how the table, how to create the table and which type of uh, values it's going to store and how to code for this save and cancel. Okay, so you, if you have not watched my previous video, then just go to description there. I have put the link for the previous video. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this form. Okay, so when I click on this, here you can see this. The data is here with the panel and you can scroll it down and you can also search with this. Here you can see this. So in this video, I'm going to show you when I click on this refresh here, you can see this scroll bar is removed and the panel below this is also removed. Here you can see this. This these stuff are also removed. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to design this form. So let's start with that. So before starting, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get updated with our new content. Okay. So in this video, we are done till here. You can see this. Here you can see this. We are done till here. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you for this one. Okay. So let me add something. So first thing, what we need is we need one form. So let me add you know new form. So for that, just go to library right click on this click on add and windows form just name this form view book and hit add now here you can see this new form will be added um, let me just copy the size of the form so that it looks similar okay so let me just right click on this and here you can see this the size is here just copy this one and just right click and go to properties and here you can see this just paste it here here you can see this this is a form here so first thing what we need to do is we need to add one panel here so let me add one panel I will show you why I'm adding this panel this way we have to add like this okay and change this panel background color to white so back color here you can see this just click on this custom and white after that we need a picture box so for that just select a picture box drag and drop it here why I'm adding a picture box here you can see this we have a panel of white color and this one is a picture box and we have this one a label okay so let me show you how to do that so first step is that add a panel and make that color white after that just click on this picture box choose image local resources it will open your local pc directory and there you can select the image so i have opened it and i have used this gif okay so let me open this hit ok and select stretched okay so here you can see this after this make it large like this and when you start this and click on this nothing will happen because we have not added that into this okay so let me add that first first thing what we need to do is I want that when user click on this view button so this needs to be loaded to the center so for that change the start position here you can see this in properties of the form you can change this start position to center screen after that save this and just go to your dashboard and just click on this just double click on this view book so a click if it is generated after that you have to type view book dot bb equals new view book so Basically, we are creating an object, and after that, you have to write pp dot show and save this, and just start this one. When I click on this, here you can see this now picture is added and it's working fine. So don't you worry about that. The image, each image and icon I'm using in this project. The link in description you can go and download it from there and start working with this okay so let me make it a little bit large and after that you have to add one label 
let me just drag and drop it change this name of this to view book hit enter and after that we have to change the form font as well as color so let me just add calibri to actually 18 calibri bold and 18 and hit ok and after that we have to change the color for color just click on this and select the highlight so you can see this now it's looking nice after that here you can observe one small stuff is that we have one label text box and button so we have to add these three stuff so for that you have to add label first thing is label so drag and drop it here and after that we need to add text box just go to toolbox and they will find text box and after this we need one button as well so button drag and drop it here make it large little bit okay so we need to change the properties for these stuff so first thing i'm going to change this label to book name so we can search with the book name okay book name hit enter and make this font little bit large change the font So here it's looking nice and also increase the font of this text box to 10. Change this button. Here you can see this flat style. Change this one to pop-up. And after that we have to change this text form. So make this one a little bit bold and 10 and hit OK. And change this text to just change this one to refresh okay here you can see this now it's looking nice okay so after that here you will observe this is a panel sorry this is actually data grid view so let me add one data grid view here so just search for data grid view and drag and drop it here after that make it large as of form size okay and let me just change the background color of this form so let me copy the color code from here here you can see this color code is nothing but this one you can manually write write it so search for back color for this one select the form and after that go to properties and this in this properties just change this back color you can manually write it 255 comma 192 comma 128 and hit enter the color of the background is changed now and now when you start this and when you click on this, then you can observe that it's looking nice and you can enter the text in this as well. And this button is look nice. Okay. So after that, what we need to do is we need to add one more stuff. That is, let me just show you. Here you can see this. There is a panel. And in this panel, we have these stuff with these buttons. Okay. So, and we have to also add this scroll bar. So how to do that? First, I'm going to show you how to add the scroll bar. So just go to properties of this form. And after that, you have to search for auto scroll. Here you can see this. And you have to make this true. When you make this true, it means that the auto scroll is available. Okay. So after this, follow my steps. Don't worry. This will be visible. Okay. So make it large a little bit. Like this. Okay, so not to worry about that. We have to just follow steps what I'm doing. And after that, we need to add one panel. So let me just drag and drop one panel here. J 
change the color of this panel grayish so let me just go here and change the back color of this panel okay so you can see this just click on this and you just select this one okay so it's more dark so let me just make it a little less dark here you can see this now it's looking nice okay so now when i make it small you can see this automatically this scroll bar is here so in the same way i have done so not to worry about that okay so let me just add stuff here so what we need to add is we need a few levels so let me just count how many levels we need so here we need three three six levels and five text box and one date time picker and three buttons so let me add these stuff here so we need levels let me just copy and paste to replicate we need actually six so we have to add six levels and after that we need text box so drag and drop it copy and paste to replicate so if you have not watched my previous video then link in description you can go and check that out and please subscribe and after the search for button just drag and drop it we need actually three buttons so we need to add so here we did one mistake is we need one date time picker let me just remove this one and add date time picker so date time picker let me have this one so we need this one okay so after that let me set text for each of these labels one by one so what is the text let me just check this out book name book author name book publication book purchase date book price and book quantity okay so let me just add it one by one just right click on this and go to properties and after that search for text and in this text first thing what we need to add is book name hit enter change the second one to book author name change this one to book publication this one to book purchase date and this one to book price and change this one to book quantity okay so here we have to move this a little bit so we have to do stuff like this okay so not to worry about that so here you can see this and change these names as well so change this button to text to what we have the button name let me just check this out update delete and cancel so just first one to update delete and this one to cancel okay so first thing we need to increase the size of these levels as well because it's not looking that much nice so how to do that so just click on this go to properties and search for font and click on this select 12 okay so you can see this it's looking nice the same way to for the rest just select all one by one and after that click on this font select 12 and hit ok okay so let me adjust these all at the proper position 
So you can see this. Now it's looking nice. So we need to move this little bit right. Okay. So we need to actually increase the font of these text box as well. So select all by pressing the CTRL key. Make sure you only select these text boxes, not this panel. If you select this panel, the size of this panel will be increased and that will confuse you. So let me just make this to 10. Hit enter and make this one larger. Like this. And make this one smaller. Okay, so you can do this one by one or like I have done it. So one more stuff is still remaining. What is that? That is we have to actually add change few properties of these buttons so that it looks nice. So first thing what we need to do is we need to actually change this one. So flat style change this one to pop up for all of these flat style to pop up this one to also pop up okay and we need to increase the font as well so just select on that select 9 and bold and hit ok you can see this is looking nice the same way for this one too 9 and bold hit ok for this one too Nine bold and okay. Just make it these buttons a little bit larger. Okay. So and after this, doing all this stuff, you need to do one small stuff. Is that you have to just minimize this a little bit like this. You have to make this form a little bit smaller, and after that, drag this one a little right. Okay. Now I'm going to start this, and when I click on this. Here you can see this it's a scroll bar and everything is working as we have designed okay so when i click on this here you can see this it's looking nice and we can actually fill the data we can select everything okay so you can see this okay so how that uh, when i uh, click on this data from this data grid view and this is visible uh, all that stuff i'm going to show you in the next video so just stay tuned that's it for the for this video guys so just stay tuned with us and for more videos just subscribe and check my playlist thanks for watching and just stay tuned for the next video thanks